Okay, we actually got a pretty good boosted summon event. I actually really like this one today, so I'm gonna break it down. I also happen to have one of these heroes in Nethro completely maxed out, plus four in power. So I'm gonna talk about my feelings about Nethro as well. Out of just wanting to have some fun today, we're gonna roll the well pod intro, enjoy the song, and let's get going on this conversation. Oh, oh, well pod. Welcome, 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 well pod. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Dot Microtransactions channel, and we're gonna have some fun tonight. Well, pod, welcome back. There is currently a 10X going on with a guaranteed legendary champion event. We're gonna talk about this here. Now, a couple things first and foremost, the guaranteed champion is not one of the ones that are also on the 10X. So the way to get this hero is either you get completely lucky and just get it randomly out of the shard, or you get it from 15 total sacred shards. Now, if we're doing it by their maximum pricing, 15 sacred shards, it's basically $450 if you purchase them all. So if you're asking me if this hero is worth $450, the question, the answer to that is, is honestly probably no. I'm, I'm gonna say no. However, this is a very good clan boss hero. If you look, it has weaken on the basic that can hit triple times if there's multiple debuffs on the boss, which it's going to be because it's clan boss. And then it also has AOE decrease attack, very good. If the decrease attack is not placed and you HP burn instead, all of these things are good. If you look here, ally protection buff, at the same time, you're getting block damage on yourself, allowing you to reduce the damage taken from the ally protection to zero. That way you can actually just basically get that for free. Great move. If you look at the passive, it even places increased defense buff on allies passively when she's hit by critical as well as healing them too. So we have everything we want to see for a clan boss champion, including increased ally defense in all battles. So this champion will take you very far in the clan boss, I do believe. This is an overall very good champion. I don't know if I would spend $450 on this one personally. However, if we look at the 10X, all of the other champions that are part of this 10X are all viable heroes for the most part. There's a couple bummers in here, like I'd say Sylar and this guy. I might not want those guys, but Stagnite is a top tier epic for sure. Sylar is another very good epic. I've used her to great effect on my free to play account. We've seen that happen. Nethro is a champion that I actually have plus four all the way. Now I want you to know something about Nethro, okay? I don't use him as much as I thought I would when I plus four him. Now he has decreased turn meter. He's got right here, he's got the stun and he's got all of that, okay? Great, great champion. And I'm just now realizing looking at this that I actually uh, plus four the wrong one. This guy is not completed with his book. So I actually have to complete his book. So that's a huge bummer. Good champion, okay? Um, however, he's not the best poisoner in the world. He's not the best CCer in the world, and he's not the best turn meter reduction guy in the world. He's good at all of them, but because he's not particularly interesting um, in any one thing really hard, like he doesn't have poison and HP burn on his basic or something, he's really got outscaled by other people that do more than him. So he's really just kind of a poisoner. And I like the fact that he's got a triple hit poison on his basic. That's great. Yeah, I mean, that's good. Look, look at that. It goes up to 50% chance even. But I believe as time has gone on, he's been kind of outscaled is what I'm going to say about him. However, the other champions in this lineup are actually pretty exciting. I mean, the Fox guy hits really hard. If you look at the way his kid is, it's great. Chance of placing decreased defense. Harmson chance of placing decreased defense buff for two turns if he's under an HP burn. So we got some synergy with the guaranteed hero, right? Look at this, attacks all enemies. Chance of placing an HP burn. Chance of placing a stun and if they have more turn meter. Chance of placing decreased speed if they have less turn meter. So we have somebody who's doing a significant amount of debuffs, HP burn, stun, decrease speed, all is just on one move. Look at this, attacking enemy, the damage increases by 40% for each active HP burn debuff on the battle up to 400%. Also a 75% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 15%, decreases the target's turn meter by additional 15% for each active HP debuff on the battle. Obviously this is great in Spider, good for bosses, good pretty much almost anywhere. Now, if you look at here, whenever an ally receives a freeze debuff, a 50% chance of replacing with an HP burn for two turns. This debuff cannot be blocked 
or removed. When an ally is under an HP burn debuff, this champion's immune to you can see all the different CC. So basically what's gonna happen, stop you from getting CC, then missing your turn, take a little damage instead, but it increases the damage of this guy and also makes him immune. So hard hitter, I like this champion actually a good deal. War Callers, another really good hero, block active skill debuffs on the basic. If you look here, attack all enemies, decreasing critical damage, 50% decrease attack debuff for two turns whose attack is higher than their defense, places 30% decreased speed debuff and 60% decreased debuff for two turns whose attack is equal to or lower than their defense. So she hits every person where they're weak. If they hit hard, if they hit with defense, right? So they have high defense, it's gonna lower their defense. If they hit high with attack, gonna lower the attack, pretty simple, okay? Look here, ally protection buff for all enemies except this champion, then she strengthens herself. So it's very similar to uh, Kyoku, I think I'm trying to say that name right, version of her move where she does block damage on herself, okay? So we have good heroes all the way around. Lady Kimmy is another amazing support. If you look at it here, she's a term either person, a buffer, debuffer, another amazing champion. So I actually really like the selection of heroes. Normally I'm not a big proponent of these, and I do believe that 15 sacred shards are kind of expensive for a hero, maybe 10, maybe eight, hell, maybe six or something, but I do actually, I do actually really like this lineup, okay? So for me, if you're debating going for this one, I almost kind of say, you know what, you can go for it. Now, there's the, here's the other thing, okay? I'm gonna say this real quick here, go full camera for it. Two X's are always the better way to get legendary heroes. You may not get the legendary you want, but two X's are always the better way just to acquire a total number of epics, legendaries, and get more value with your shards over time. However, as the champion pool continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger, acquiring these champions specifically becomes harder and harder and harder, obviously. So having a 10 X, which in my opinion, it has multiple selected options that are all good ones. Like if we look at this here, I mean, Nethro would be a decent pull, Lady Kimmy, decent pull, both of the Voids are decent pull. The only ones that aren't good pulls out of these, like I probably wouldn't want the Wanderer. It's not really that exciting to me, to be honest. I don't really see him do anything. And this guy seems interesting, but maybe not that great. I mean, this move seems kind of cool, but I wish he buffed himself with his bonus damage before he hit the person and ignored their defense. So I'm, those two are kind of the landmines you gotta dodge, okay? In all honesty. However, I like the rest of them really do like the rest of them. So this champion event goes on for three days. It's gonna go on through the weekend. If you want me to pull your, oh my God, they want me to do the 50 here. If you want me to pull your shards for you, I will. Join the Discord in the link down below. Send me your DM. I'll be happy to do a summoning session for you. I haven't done one of those on the channel in a long time. However, uh, if you're thinking about saving your shards for the next 2X, totally understand. This is a good hero. I like him a lot. Take your pick. Let me know in the comments down below what you decide because I'm kind of curious what you guys think. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. See you on the next one. Consider liking the video to help me out. Subscribe if you'd like to see me again and leave a comment to let me know how your day's going.